The clocks were set to Dame time last night. Where does Dame's historic performance rank all time? Hey, we got a quarterback battle brewing in New Orleans. Can Taysom beat out Jameis for the starting job? And also, why are we asking? And the Brooklyn Nets are moving on to round two. With that, we say good Wednesday morning, everyone, and welcome to another fine edition of First Things First. Jenna Wolf. Nick is obviously in mourning over the Lakers last where's, night, which we will get to soon. Nick? I don't know if he'll even be here. I don't know. <laughs> Brandon's here. What? Kevin's here. Brandon, you know, we'll get to the Lakers in a second. Your Nets be my Celtics, buddy. I still love you, though, and I will always love you. Can they do the same thing to the Bucs I appreciate now? that. Oh, come on, Jenna. That's why I'm wearing the black and white today. <laughs> black and white, black and white. There's no Nets Brooklyn. Are going down. Let's I'm go. I'm in. Let's oh, do who's this. Back? <laughs> who's back? Who's oh, he's back? He showed up. All right, Nick. He I didn't want to have up. to do this, but we got to start with some Lakers Suns. Oh, you game wanted to do this, five. Jenna. Here we Been go. Been waiting four I years to do this. this. So badly, Nick. You've so waiting badly. years. Uh, no, no, Anthony Davis last night. He's out with that groin strain, and the Suns came out swinging to the tune of a 30 point half down lead, to a tune of a 30 point win win for the Suns. The only dark spot for them, though, Chris Paul did re-injure that shoulder. He had to leave the game. But his team more than carried the load. They won. And the Lakers now sit on the brink of a first round exit. Here's LeBron after the game. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we got our ass kicked. I mean, it's just that simple. Um, they did got to whatever they wanted to get to in this game. And uh you know, we got to be better, obviously, if we want to force a game seven. So, um, obviously, a lot to uh, learn from in this game, a lot to cover. See, uh, you know, what we got to do better going into game six. But, uh, I mean, they, they pretty much just kicked our asses. I mean, there's nothing else really to say. What I'm not going to do, Nick, is ask if you're worried oh, moving forward. Because I like to save that juicy question for later. What I will ask you is this. This game, was it more about what the Suns did or what the Lakers didn't do last night? Oh, it was all of the above, mm. Jenna Wolf, Kevin Wilds, and Brandon Marshall. <laughs> oh, God, I do not look forward to seeing Brandon Marshall's smiling pearly whites this morning. I, I, I've got to take this one on the chin because I think I was more wrong about an individual sporting event last night than I've ever been about any individual sporting event in my life. Everything about the Lakers' performance was pathetic. Every single thing. From the fact of the, the it's, you know when it's, when the pathetic performance started? Before the game even started. When they announced the starting lineups, and Frank Vogel said, you know what, we're gonna start? A five-man unit that not has never started together. A five-man unit that has played zero minutes together ever. Never played on the court together. Let's start it in game five of the playoffs. I thought LeBron would have a sense of urgency, didn't really see it. I thought Schroeder would bounce back from an awful game four. Instead, he had quite literally the worst game of his life. I thought the Lakers would understand that Devin Booker at home in this series has been excellent, has been bubbling, waiting for an explosion. Nope, they decided to let him get whatever he wants. He had 18 points in the first quarter, which was 150% of the points the Lakers scored as a team in the second quarter. It was a disaster. Everything about it was terrible. However, Brandon Marshall, as oh, the great English author for no Thomas reason. Fuller once said, it is always oh. darkest before the dawn. And it is not 1995, and it is not a best of five. It is a best of seven, and you still must beat oh this team four You're times. You're not doing this right so now. yesterday was you terrible. You better not do this right yesterday now. Yesterday was as bad as it gets. There is no excuse for my misanalysis and for the Lakers' terrible play. However, the series, Brandon, is not over. Oh! Brandon, he's owning goodness. it, Brandon. He's owning you it. You are not doing this this morning. Did you doing not what? watch this game? We were tweeting each other. 
that, I know that wasn't a oh, robot tweeting me no, back. You were you. up watching the game. I, the game I'd was over you. with five. Yeah. In, Twi- I sent twi- Oh my send goodness, wow. You're blocked, wow. so I didn't see anything Can we send a nurse? To. Can we send somebody to his apartment? I know you're there. You're probably on the outskirts of New York, but send somebody to this man's house. This man is losing it. I was going to take it easy on you, buddy, but you come back in and you triple down. That's what you just did. You, you, you had... Two aces, and you told him to split it. That's what you did. You know, you had 20. You're like, take it. Take the win. You had the opportunity to get out of it when AD went down, Nick. Please, brother, you understand that this series is over, but you're just too pot committed. Look, here's the deal. It was a little bit of both, Jenna. When you watched that game, I did see a sense of urgency in LeBron coming out. That's why I tweeted early in that game that, man, it looks like he's going for 50. You know, he was pulling up. He was aggressive, you know, not only on the perimeter but also in the paint. And then he just went cold. And then everybody else never even got warm. On the other side, you had a whole team, a complete team. You had a book that went for 30. You know, Paul only had nine. Aiden only had eight. But then you had the others that truly stepped up, and they've been stepping up all series, and that's Bridges, Payne, and Johnson. They played phenomenal. They were sensational. So for that reason, that's why I chose this team, because you didn't know what you were going to get out of AD. We talked about this coming in, Nick. We said that AD could potentially make it to the playoffs, but he may not be able to sustain. So, So while... I'm yep. disappointed that Nick is tripling down on this Lakers bet. Well, don't be disappointed. Let's just let's see how game six goes. And Kevin Wilds, you know, you, you, people laugh, but Wilds, you, you know, a staple of my sports commentary sometimes is, you know what happened? Someone played too good. And the Suns, when I see campaign oh. looking like he, he's in oh. open gym, When I see the Phoenix Suns commit four turnovers the entire game, when I I see AD, who didn't play obviously, Schroeder and KCP combine for as many points as the old Phoenix Gorilla, the mascot, the famous mascot they had, zero, I say, you know what? Game six is going to be better. Game six is going to be in Los Angeles. Game six, the Lakers will be the favorites. So yesterday... I was wrong. I had to. I had to just take it. I and we will see what the no, rest no, of the out. series looks like. But Stop. yeah, what's up? Stop beating yourself up. Your yeah. old buddy Kevin Wilde's going to help you out because although Brandon wants to oh. pile on you and Jenna wants to take her shots at I you, didn't I'm here to support too. you because I think <laughs> you got something 100% right yesterday. And I'm not joking. 100% right yesterday. Oh. We said in the last segment disagrees. of the show said this is the most important game of DeAndre Ayton's life, most important game of Devin Booker's life, one of the most important games of Chris right. Paul's life. <laughs> and you're like, that's right. He's like, here's the thing though, Wilds, they're all just kind of new to the game, minus Chris Paul. It is about the 173rd most important game of LeBron James' life. And I was like, huh, that's interesting, that's a good point by Nick. But here's the problem, mm. you were too right for your own good because they all treated it like just a normal game where there was such a sense of urgency from the Suns players and the Suns crowd, the Lakers got rolled. And I just want to kill one narrative because like Draymond was on at halftime. It's like, ah, LeBron did his job. You know what? They got, they got to hit their shots. They missed those shots because Phoenix did a great job playing defense. There were, right. You can be a step slow and those guys can hit those shots. Here's just one random play. This is not a play you'll see on any highlights. LeBron's got it. Hey, kick it to the corner for Kuzma. Campaign comes from the elbow and closes out. Then Devin Booker basically comes from the baseline. KCP's got some awkward looking one-legged floater that's not really a floater. This happened all game, or at least all first half. And when they talk about being aggressive on the defense for the Suns, I want to show you one other graphic, Nick, that I thought was super interesting. LeBron didn't get one free throw. Didn't get it. There was a, a handful of calls where he like put his hands up that he thought he deserved something. But it feels like this is indicative of either him not being aggressive enough, him kind of carrying out his, like, I need to get guys involved too much, or him not being 100% and probably a combination of everything. What did you take about, of what did you take from him not going to the free throw line at all last night? 
Well, listen, I think it's a little misleading because, as you mentioned, I, I thought he was relatively aggressive. I thought there was a bunch of or at least three separate drives to the basket where he was trying to get to the free throw line and didn't get the call. Uh, but I do think that he didn't have the sense of urgency. He played okay. LeBron, that was like a C-minus game. Everyone else, it was an F game. And the Suns played out of their minds. But the reason that the Suns had the sense of urgency is the Suns understand something that, and we'll see if they can do it, that I had said a long time ago, and you laughed at me, Kevin Wilds, but it's accurate. The Suns or any team playing LeBron, they have to win. They don't have to win four out of seven. You have to win four out of six, because if it gets to a game seven, you're cooked. So the Suns knew in order to well, win this series, they had yeah, to I win yesterday, and they did, well, and mean, they nah, annihilated nah, nah, the nah, Lakers. Nah. At, what, what, Brandon? Brandon, enough, you think they can beat uh, You think if the Lakers this, win Thursday? This historical references. No, like you just, you also uh -huh. said, oh, it's the king. He's never lost, yeah. you know, in the first round. Like yeah. a stu enough of all of those still references hasn't. from the past, man. Yeah. It's over. It's They're true. cooked. They're done. They're done. They're done. Okay. I just want to ask, can I just ask this real quick? Just quickly. Oh, man. No, no, nope, 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 it's nope, over. Nope, 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 They're listen, done. You're done. This segment is done. We got. We got all morning we're going to discuss that and what's going on with AD and whether he'll be available for game six. We got to head to New Orleans. Taysom Hill battling it out for the starting quarterback job. Fox Bet Sportsbook oh, has Jameis, though, as the betting favorite to be the starter come week one. So why are we talking about this? We'll let you know next. First things first. Worst Laker game of the year.